So how many saw me at Young Living Convention? So I only had five minutes there, so I'm super excited because, um, so quote, there ain't no money in poetry, but that's what sets the poet free from cold dog soup. So I use poetry as a form of trauma or expressive writing, and there's many ways to do that, actually. You can use journaling, a memoir, poetry, or even opinion or thought pieces. So I'm actually going to invite you guys to do that with me today with the exercise. I'm actually a holistic business coach and I help individuals in the eight dimensions of wellness. And again, I turn chaos into clarity because a lot of times we're not clear on what we need to do because we have stuck emotions, right? So all the things that we've learned, we're gonna learn one more new tool to add on that, and that's expressive writing. So what we're gonna do, I want you guys to first put one of your favorite, most relaxing oils to the side, and I want you to get a piece of paper, or even in your notes section, we're gonna do together some trauma writing. Because when, why is this important? When a person has a reaction to something in their environment, there's a 90 second chemical process that happens in the body. After that, any remaining an emotional response is just the person choosing to stay in the emotional loop. So if we, if we allow ourselves to feel those emotions for 90 seconds, and then we use all of these tools we've been learning today, we can actually reprogram and get out of that. So I'm gonna set a timer for 90 seconds and I want you guys to journal either in your note section or a piece of paper and pick one of these, write a list of times when you felt alone, misunderstood, not good enough, or invisible. And then afterwards, as you listen to my poetry, which you're gonna get a bonus one because I have more time, we're gonna think about that and I want you to hear the poetry about you and not about me. So, What were those categories again, Tanisha? If alone. you felt alone, misunderstood, not good enough, or invisible, just choose one. Just write off the top of your head as much as you can. Whatever comes. So now we're gonna grab our oils and deep breathe. And I want you to continue the deep breathing process throughout this poetry set. And again, listen to the poems, not about me, but about you. And the point is for us to feel those emotions, then we're gonna release some of them, and at the end, reprogram, because the set is set up in that way. So the first poem is Metamorphosis. And just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it emerged a butterfly. I've heard stories of this, but those stories were incomplete. The caterpillar phase is actually simple and quick. But the next stage, where the caterpillar is in a cocoon, the chrysalis stage, that is where the time is spent. From the outside, it looks like a caterpillar resting, but inside is rapid change, growth, metamorphosis. In order to become a butterfly, the caterpillar has to fall apart completely, decompose after feeding to its very essence, devoid of any shape or consciousness, 
and from this liquid essence be rebuilt again to a butterfly. So it is with us. We decide to grow, to change, to better ourselves spiritually, emotionally, consciously, and we think growth is linear and forward, but transformation, metamorphosis requires falling apart, decomposing, losing shape, losing consciousness, becoming devoid, thinking your world might be over until metamorphosis is complete. And you realize that your world is not over. And you emerge a butterfly. This next one is on accepting your feelings because again, that's what we have to do. And this was towards the beginning of this new time that we're in when we're stuck in the house. And this one's called Permission Granted. Baby girl, I give you permission to cry all night, to not turn your camera on, to be mad, to not post today, to not respond, to say no, to feel the hurt, to not apologize for how you feel, to complain about being alone, to deny abuse, to sleep in, to say no. My only request is, get up, wash your face, get your happy back, get your dance on. Okay, this next one is my word for the year, something I had to do a lot of. Again, if you heard me at convention, I was at convention standing on stage two and a half weeks after being um, rear-ended, well, three and a half weeks after being rear-ended, and two and a half weeks, I think, after having an abdominal surgery. So, I had to do a lot of surrender, but I had authorization from my doctor, and I was using all natural things to recover from both. Yeah. Surrender, first and foremost, to Jehovah's God, Jehovah God's will and direction. Surrender to learning and curiosity. Surrender to your innate, natural personality. Surrender to being instead of doing. Surrender to loving unconditionally. Surrender to walking in your story, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Surrender to what you cannot control. Surrender to the fact that life is not happening to you, but for you. Surrender to your greatness, knowing that it is a gift. Surrender to humility. Surrender to the beauty of the process. Surrender to being generous. Surrender to the blessings you are worthy and deserving of. Surrender to letting go of the past and embracing the future. Surrender to kindness. Surrender to patience. Yeah. All right, there's only two more and they're very short. This one, I want everyone to close their eyes. This is the bonus one that I had to cut out of the presentation to make my five minute time. So close your eyes and I literally want you to continue to deep breathe and feel every word for you for this. Because this one is called, You Deserve. You deserve no judgment. You deserve to be seen and heard. You deserve to be taken care of. You deserve to be protected. You deserve to release guilt and shame. You deserve to be nurtured. You deserve trust. You deserve to be free. You deserve connection. You deserve to be wanted. You are lovable and you are loved. You are enough. Last one, so my stage name is Coco Rose, and when I publish my works, I plan for them to be titled Coco Rose in Full Bloom. So this poem is titled Bloom, super short, and I'd love for you guys to follow me on Instagram. I post lots of shorts and stuff. It's um, Sweet Canela, S-W-E-E-T. C A N E L A 5. And if you search for my name, Tashina Gonzalez or Coco Rose, you should be able to find me as well. But Bloom. Bloom. Plant the seed. Be patient. Water. 
hydrate, sprout, dig your roots in, lengthen your stems, bloom, wild, natural, fierce, unbroken, untamed, flower, give joy, cross pollinate, spread your seeds of your beauty, of your life, of your heart, of your essence, radiate in full bloom. Woo!